you've come so far. Hi, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to my channel. So this is a video I've been saving up for a while. I love it. I put it in one of the Colourpop boxes. When you get a Colourpop delivery, you can actually put them inside out and make your own box. Let's see, the icon in. So, it's an empties! Now, I just wanted to say, and this is one of those funny things, but I remember when I first was watching Annette's channel, and one of her videos she did was Unpopular Opinions. And I remember her saying about empties. And how she doesn't like watching them because it's always creams and liquids. And I was like, no, it's not like always creams and liquids. And then I saved up and tried to keep empties. And it's all creams and liquids. Yeah, she knows. She knows. So let's take you through all the products I've used. It's mostly shower stuff and some toner and moisturizer. So this is one of my all-time favorite face washes. It's near the end. I just included it because, well, you can't tell that it's near the end. It gets like, once it gets near the end, it's like heaps of air in there and it's just weird. Daily cleanser with Amazonian white clay. I love the clay texture of this. It's like my favorite. Can you see it? It feels really clean. I'm just trying to see, it's super, look. Yeah. That's like some of it. So I really like the feel of it. I like how cleansing it is. It soaps up nicely. It doesn't feel too drying. It's perfect. But it's expensive and there's no Kill store in Brisbane, I think. I think David Jones has them. I should just go there and get them. I'll go have a look at David Jones. But I was interested to maybe try the Oli Herrick, Her the green, the green packaging stuff. Face cleanser, so I might give that a whirl next. This is my second tube I've been using of this and I, I just love this stuff. This is something I don't recommend ever smelling or using solely because it costs $36. It's the most I've ever spent. Sorry. Marceline, what you doing? Look, let's watch my cat while we I talk about this, eh? So this is a product that I recommend never, ever smelling. Because it smells amazing, and it's amazing the shower, but it's $36, and I have never spent that much money on a shower gel ever, but it makes me love shower. I don't know. I'm probably going to buy more. The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. This is really good. I love it. What else have I got in here? Oh, she stopped. Marcy! What you doing? Mussy. I feel like she knows when the camera's on her. I think we can come back. So I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me talk about the shower gel, but like, don't smell it unless you want to like buy expensive shower gel for the rest of your life. Another product I have in here is from, I recognize it's coming, Hideaway. And I have three jars of this stuff. So you know I've tested it. This is the whipped soap from Hideaway. So if you're an Aussie, you've probably heard of Ashy Bynes. Her mum makes soap. I had no idea until someone told me about it. Uh, you can buy it online. I believe it's manufactured in Queensland. I assume it's handmade. And the whipped soap is my favorite formula. I've tried the bars, but I've realized I don't like handmade soap in bar form. So, my favourite smell of all of these was Vanilla Caramel. I love these for shaving. They whip up really nicely. It's a very moisturising uh, soap. And you sort of scoop it up, get it all wet and then lather it on. Or lather it underneath your arm. And then you can shave off and it's really, it's nice. Smells nice and the stay, the smell sort of stays with you, not to the same degree as that amazing salt to and stuff. Vanilla caramel is my favourite. This taught me that I do not like candied scents. Fairy floss is... <clears throat> oh, it, it was painful for me to use this, I remember. Uh, it smells like you're washing with fruit tingles. And if you do love like a really, like, in, it, it's quite like 
I mean, I like fruit tingles. I'll eat fruit tingles. But the smell is overpowering. <laughs> but it's also quite nice. If you like those kind of scents, you definitely will love it. Um, monkey farts. This smells like, I'm pretty sure it's pomegranate, which is not, I don't like. And <laughs> when I was using this, I was just like, scoop as much as possible. And <laughs> wasted heaps of product. But vanilla caramel is like, it smells exactly as it says, and it's quite a, like a bit more of a sophisticated scent, if that's like a thing. Or maybe it just like arrives when my mom's cooking. But if you're interested in the brand or trying it out, I definitely would try out their whipped soap range in a smell that you think might suit you. And I definitely, I think vanilla caramel was quite non offensive. I think most people would like that. And I can throw these all out now. I got this in a mini pack of Dr. Jart products, the Dermaclear Microfoam. I don't like it. It was really, really drying. Once I finished washing my face, I felt like really tight, which I don't think is a good thing. I don't know. It confused me. I just, yeah, I don't like the smell. I don't, I don't like this product. This just gives me a, a boo. On that note, I actually don't like that Dermalogica Micro exfoliant shit. That shit's just too messy. Who's going around making a mess every time they're washing their face? Um, I've used up a whole mini of the vegan cruelty and collusion free UV protection uh, drag shampoo. It's charcoal because charcoal triggers me to buy things. Um, this seemed okay. It seemed it seemed like dry shampoo and I actually have no idea how anyone rates a good dry shampoo. If you know what makes a dry shampoo like a good dry shampoo, can you let me know? Because I don't know. But I can throw it out now, thank you. I've gone through one travel size. I actually, for some reason, didn't think that Mecca sold the full size of these. I thought they only had the minis. But the Urban Decay D Slick Spray. This one, I think, works better than all the other sprays I've tried. It, uh, like I'm quite oily, so I feel like this one keeps the oils at bay the most. I love it. I've got, I nearly finished this one. Oh, it's packed. I think I've got half a bottle of the other one left still. This is one of my favorite toners. This is bloody expensive too. And look, I used every single drop. Ain't a drop left in this baby. This is the Lancome Tonic Dorsure Lotion Hydrating Toner. 200 mils, I believe it's like 60 Australian or like $80 maybe. They used to have one that was more of an exfoliant. And that was like nice. But I love a toner that like you feel like it's drawing everything out. At the moment I'm using one of the Kiehl's ones. And I like it but you really have to make sure the lid on the Kiehl's one is closed. Because um, you have to shake it. And I've, I've sprayed it everywhere a few times. So I do miss the packaging of this one. <laughs> And I don't know, I've just like, I just like this one. I'm not even like 100% sure why. What do you like in a toner? Like what should I be, what are the things that people worry about in a toner? But I just feel like this one works really well. I feel like my pimples decrease. I feel like it cleans my face really well. I, I just, I haven't tried anything that's really compared to this formula for me. So my memory card filled up. The, the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Cushion Moisturizer. This has changed my skin. I bought this after someone at Mecca recommended it in the shiny blue packaging. Drew me in. And it's amazing. It really, like when I use this frequently, it really just helps my oiliness so much. My skin feels nice. And all I do is I apply this at night time. And I use something else for my eye cream. But it, it's stunning. I love this. I think Mecca have a little package at the moment because this is like 80 bucks or something. And they've got like a little range. I am planning on getting it. But I'm, I'm holding back at the moment just on that purchase because moisturize is not as important as shiny things. And I've got a full one. Could I save this jar? What could I use this jar for? I do like this jar. I'm just going to keep it. So this actually isn't an empty, but this is just packaging that broke. This is a mask treatment that I got from Priceline. Price tag. 
and it's the Jewel Juice, G-U-U-C-E. Oh, infused with natural Australian botanicals. They really sold it, and it's just a hair mask, so you put it on your hair while you're in the shower and leave it on for 10 minutes. It seemed to work, but after a while, and I only got this far in it, it got real goopy, and then I was just gooping it out with the full stick thing, and then I broke the stick thing. So I stopped using it. I'm just gonna, I just thought I'd mention it because it's a fail for packaging. If you're interested in trying product, it seemed like it, it seemed to work at the time. But I feel like leaving conditioner in your hair for longer is probably just as effective. And my final empties. This is like my favourite. She's at it again. Marceline. Oh, you're so cute though. So, so this is... So you will see that there is product at the bottom. I actually had a hard time getting it out and then I gave up. So this is the charcoal dry bar on the Rocks Clarifying Charcoal Shampoo. I really like this. It feels quite nice and cleansing. I get dandruff if I don't wash my hair quickly enough. But I just, I like this. It's nice. And I didn't want to get the charcoal conditioner so I bought the Saki Bomb Nourishing Conditioner. This was quite nice and I did like it, but I'm using the Southern Bell one at the moment and the Southern Bell one smells amazing. I love I love it. It's it's better. Gosh, well I feel a lot better having uh, been able to throw out all those empties. I'm not sure I want to do this again. It really is just all creams. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm actually tracking when I'm opening products and seeing how long things last for me. So like the current what jar of this I've got the date that when I bought it on it and I've also got on the shampoos when I bought them because I feel like that shampoo lasted me a very long time so I might check in when I finish them and say like how long it took me to go through this product other than that yeah oh I'll put on this one I've got a quick question and I'll put it on my Instagram because I have more friends over there so I've been wondering if doing a giveaway with samples is something you'd be interested in. I'll show you. So at the moment I let my friends come over and look in the samples box and select out samples that they may want. But I think I may definitely, I'll definitely give away my Grown Alchemist moisturizer to one of you guys. Because it's worth like 80 bucks and I'm never going to use it. Um, I thought I might include this, this is from the FabFitFun and see what I want but I've got like some I mean I got that benefit I've got a bit of skincare but these are like these are just samples that I've got that I don't really I don't think I'll use anytime soon what I was thinking is doing like two samples together maybe or showing you all the samples and then you can comment what sample you'd want the most and then I could just post it to you. I, like, I probably would make it Australian just for now. Or like, is this just scamming people? Because it's stuff I got for free. But my friends get enough stuff. Like, if you want some stuff, feel free. So let me know, is that like super, is that shitty to do? Um, but I just thought I'd like to give away to some of the really lovely people who are watching me. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on that one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time.